How's it going everyone? It's Jay from TheBearHeads.com here with another review for today. And we're going to do a good review for today because today is the first day of summer. And with all due said, we're going to be doing a beer from uh, Dogfish Head Craft Brewery out of Milton, Delaware. And it is their one, their only Shaw Tea. And this is a 9% Shaw Tea uh, style of a beer. So without further ado, let's get into today's review. Alright, you can go on their website, www.dogfish.com, get all kinds of great info on this. Sal Cajoni uh, makes videos um, to give you brief details about the beer, processes of the beer, and the process of this beer, which is an excellent process to boil all the stuff that use firing, steamy uh, river rocks to boil the, uh, the water and everything in this beer. But you can also get some brief detailing on their bottle, and it states right here on this side. And it says, and it reads, Our Shaw Tea is based on the traditional 9th century Finnish recipe for Shaw Tea. In that, we brew it with rye and juniper and heat the wort with wood fire rocks. We break with tradition by adding an exotic black shy tea at the end of the boil. Alright, and now and it says on the bottom of the labeling, Brewed with black shy tea and juniper berries. Now, uh, I did some research on juniper berries. Juniper berries are not exactly a berry for say as they say more like of a twig to give the hops to replace the hops in this beer it is considered somewhat of a berry but at the same time not uh, I got that off the internet on Wikipedia so if I'm wrong Wikipedia is wrong so you guys let me know so let's get to popping this open nice amount of wow pop that open it's got an excellent smell so we get to pouring this Now, this beer is looking just exquisite, very nice. Got about a two finger off white khaki light head, very fluffy little bubbles. Um, the color on this is amazing. It's just really golden, creamy, orange brownish. Carbonation coming up, very minimal, not too much, but there is a good amount of carbonation in this beer. Head's already dying out really quick. But other than that, this is a good looking beer, and we do got some sediment floating up in this beer. They do say it is an unfiltered style beer, um, and this is looking nice. That sediment is just really floating in there, and you're just getting uh, an unfiltered look, but at the same time, you're still getting a nice, clear look through the glass, and the head is anticipated all the way down. So without further ado, let's get into this review and smell the aromas. Wow, very sweet smelling. You're definitely picking up those uh, juniper berry and the twigs off of that, the figs. Definitely picking up some um, some spices from um, from uh, teas. If you ever get uh, tea and you ever try it, uh, they come in the packs and stuff. You got other exotic teas out there from like India or just you know big uh, tea companies out there that really produce um, craft style teas compared to just your typical tea that you can make down in the south or something like that. And you're definitely picking up that smell in this beer. But all in all, this is smelling like a malt bomb. Very nice. Just very, very clean smelling. So let's get to trying this and cheers, you guys. Tastes nice. Nice tasting beer. I believe they said this beer has six IBUs in it or something like that. Very low because they don't use the hops, they use the juniper. <coughs> but um this is very malty, li licorice, like a liquor. Uh, you're definitely picking up liquor in this. It's very off the top. You're definitely picking the nine percent up, but it's still hidden at the same time because it's giving out that sweet malt taste of everything that's in this beer. Mouthful is very, uh, the mouthful, very carbonated. Picking up all those malts in here, definitely. Side of the palate, front of the palate, definitely on top of the mouth, of the top of my uh, mouth. Definitely picking up a light bitters of it from the junipers. 
is a nice tasting beer. Um, I was in a rush to find this, and I found it in San Francisco at City Beer Store. I had to travel quite a distance because I live in San Jose, but it was worth the trip to go check out City Beer Store. I picked up some great stuff from them, and I seen this, and I had to pick it up. Um, am I am I gonna say this is the one I'm gonna pick up right away again? No. Uh, would I pick it up again later down the line? Yeah, I would. Um, it's a nice tasting beer. Uh, it has that nice, uh, sweet, spicy notes off the, uh, on the palate. You're definitely picking up the tea vibes in this. It's definitely a tea type beer, because uh, you're still getting that beer taste, and you're also still getting some nice spices of teas. And, um, this is just one that you want to relax with and just enjoy. I wouldn't say you want to drink this right away. Um, for a seasonal, uh, well, it's not seasonal, but one time year at least, this is definitely one. I would not want to try to get this beer, um, every day as a real round beer because, uh, it's good, but at the same time, you're not going to constantly want to drink it. But, uh, out of a 10, man, I'm definitely going to have to give this, uh, an 8. Hands down, great beer. Uh, not the best, but it is great. And, uh, definitely. You guys need to try this, uh, just to experience something new from beer. Uh, so without further ado, this is Jay from TheBeerHeads.com. It's nice and hot on this summer day. I'm enjoying this heat. I know a, a big guy like me shouldn't be out in the sun that long. Uh, but uh, I'm enjoying beer. That's why I'm out here. So uh, like I always say, live, learn, and drink. Till the next time, guys. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, it's Jay from TheBeerHeads.com. And uh, visit us on the website, get some more tips on some good beers. Also check out some stuff I'll be working with. Can't wait to do a couple more reviews in stores. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later.